Welcome to this demonstration of the FAST ED Stroke Severity Scale. This scale was designed based on items of the NIH Stroke Scale with higher predictive value for large vessel occlusion strokes in the pre-hospital setting. Large vessel occlusions, otherwise known as LBOs, are ischemic strokes that result from a blockage in one of the major arteries of the brain. LVO strokes are associated with an increased risk of long-term disability and death compared to strokes that are due to blockages in the smaller arteries of the brain. Intravenous thrombolysis, the use of medication to dissolve clots, is oftentimes ineffective at treating LVO strokes. This is due to the large clot size associated with this type of infarct. Mechanical thrombectomy, which is the endovascular removal of a clot, has become a standard treatment for eligible patients with LVO stroke. This procedure can greatly improve outcomes and can sometimes be offered up to 24 hours after the initial injury. Although many regional hospitals provide intravenous thrombolysis, mechanical thrombectomy is currently only offered by select stroke centers. Updated in February 2020, the AHA's Emergency Medical Services Acute Stroke Routing Algorithm encourages EMS providers to utilize a validated stroke severity scale to assess for possible LVO in the pre-hospital setting. This can be of great value in reducing potential treatment delays. Stroke severity scales differ from stroke screening tools, such as the Cincinnati Pre-Hospital Stroke Scale. Stroke screening tools are used to identify the most common symptoms of a stroke and yield a positive result, stroke suspected, or negative result, stroke unlikely. Stroke severity scales quantify neurologic deficits in order to identify patients with symptoms that are more likely to be associated with LBO and should be performed on all patients with a positive stroke screen. FAST ED is a very promising stroke severity scale due to its familiar components and a well designed scoring system, which assigns greater value to neuro deficits that are highly indicative of LBO stroke, such as aphasia and neglect. FAST ED is a double acronym that conveys the intent of the scale Field Assessment Stroke Triage for Emergency Destination as well as the assessment steps to complete the scale, appraising facial palsy, arm weakness, speech changes, time, eye deviation, and denial and neglect. Upon completion of the FAST ED Stroke Severity Scale, patients are assigned a score of zero to nine. Many agencies use a checklist or app to assist in scoring. We will now demonstrate how to perform and score each step of the FAST ED Stroke Severity Scale. Begin by testing for facial weakness, otherwise known as facial palsy. Have your patient smile or show their teeth and then raise their eyebrows. If upper and lower facial features are symmetrical, score a zero. If one side of the face droops or is clearly asymmetric, score a one. The next step is to check for arm weakness. Have your patient close their eyes and with their palms up, extend their arms out 90 degrees or 45 degrees if the patient is lying down, holding their arms in this position for 10 seconds. Remember, the patient's eyes should be closed for this exam or they may be able to compensate for an arm drift. If both arms remain elevated for 10 seconds or slowly drift down equally, score a zero. If the patient can raise both arms, but one arm drifts down in less than 10 seconds, score a one. If one or both arms fall rapidly, cannot be lifted, or no movement occurs at all, score a two. Next, we assess for speech. We are testing for aphasia, which is the inability to understand or express speech. There are two types of aphasia. Expressive aphasia is inability to produce written or spoken language. Receptive aphasia is inability to understand written or spoken language. First, we test for expressive aphasia. 
Ask your patient to name three common items, objects that would be familiar to everyone. What do I have in my hand? Glasses. And what's this? Watch. And what is this? A pen. If the patient names two to three items, score a zero. If your patient is unable to name zero to one items correctly, score a one. Next, we check for receptive aphasia. Ask your patient to perform a simple command, such as show me two fingers or give me thumbs up on your left hand. It is important that you do not demonstrate this request as the test is intended to assess the patient's ability to follow verbal instructions. Can you show me two fingers? Good. If the patient is able to follow this command, score a zero. Can you show me two fingers? Show me two fingers. If the patient is not able to follow this command, score a one. It is important to note that slurred speech, otherwise known as dysarthria, is not scored or counted against the patient when using the FAST ED scale. Slurred speech is a common symptom of stroke, but it is not typically associated with LVO strokes. Therefore, it is not scored. The next step is time. It is very important to make an effort to establish your patient's last known well time. This is the time that they were last seen at their baseline. Treatment decisions are based upon this. It is also helpful to establish the time of symptom onset, which may be different from the last known well time. Testing for eye deviation is next. Gently hold your patient's chin steady while you have them use only their eyes to follow your fingers from side to side across their horizontal view. If they can follow your finger all the way to the left and all the way to the right, score a zero. If they can only follow your finger to one side, score a one. An example of this is a patient who can look to the left but cannot cross midline and follow to the right. This is known as partial gaze deviation. A patient with a gaze that is fixed to the left or right, even if you move their head gently from side to side for them, will score a two. This is known as forced gaze deviation. The final step is to test for denial and neglect. The denial and neglect test cannot be completed if the patient is suffering from expressive or receptive aphasia, as this may yield inaccurate results. Denial is the inability to recognize weakness on one side of the body, and neglect is the failure to recognize part of one's own body. To test for denial, ask your patient, are you weak anywhere? Are you feeling weak anywhere? Yes, my right arm. Okay. If the patient does not have weakness or recognizes the weakness, score a zero. However, if the patient is weak but does not recognize the weakness, score a one. Are you having any weakness anywhere? No. Can you move this arm? Now test for neglect. Gently show the patient their affected arm and ask, whose arm is this? Whose arm is this? It's mine. Okay, good. If your patient does not have weakness, or has weakness and recognizes their weak arm, score a zero. If your patient has weakness, but does not recognize their arm, score a one. Whose arm is this? Yours. Whose arm is this? This completes the FAST ED Stroke Severity Scale Assessment. Total all scores from each section for a final score. The FAST ED scale has the advantage of providing three distinct groups for the likelihood of large vessel occlusion stroke. A score of zero to one indicates a 15% chance of LVO stroke. A score of two to three indicates a 30% chance of LVO stroke. A score of four or greater indicates a 60% or higher chance of LVO stroke. Patients with a total score of four or greater may benefit from direct transport to a facility with thrombectomy capabilities. It is important to work with your EMS medical director 
and local hospitals to incorporate a stroke severity scale such as FAST ED into your regional transport plan. Keep in mind that when it comes to stroke severity scales, no tool is perfect. Both false positives and false negatives occur. Also, a total FAST ED score of zero does not mean the patient isn't having a stroke. As mentioned previously, scoring is not assigned for slurred speech. Other symptoms, such as incoordination, vertigo, and sudden severe headache do not receive points with FAST ED. However, these patients should still be transferred emergently to the closest stroke certified hospital. With that, we conclude this demonstration of the FAST ED Stroke Severity Scale. On behalf of the American Heart Association and the North Dakota Department of Health EMS Division, I'd like to thank you for your time and your dedication to providing quality stroke care.